We talk about a lot of different things in this show, and today's exclusive gets straight into the world that attracts millions upon millions of fans. I'm talking about World Wrestling Entertainment, better known as WWE, which reaches somewhere around a billion homes in 30 different languages worldwide. It's huge, it's huge. And as I said, you know, we're live. Fans eat up what happens in the ring week after week. But today, the drama is spilling out of the ring and into real life. I always know it's a big deal when I come to work and the streets are lined with paparazzi. And that's what I was greeted with this morning. They were not here for me. <laughs> <laughs> they were here for Mandy Sakamono. She is best known as the wrestler Mandy Rose, nicknamed the Golden Goddess. She made history by holding the championship title for 413 days. That is one of the longest runs ever in WWE's NXT brand. Now, according to USA Network, Mandy was originally scheduled to defend her title tonight. As I said, we are live. She was supposed to be in the ring in a few hours from now. She's backstage. Her fans were blindsided when she suddenly lost a match on December 13th. The next day, the pro wrestling world was shocked by headlines claiming that Mandy was released by the organization for posting nude photos on a fan subscription site, an action reportedly in violation of her contract. Her supporters, like actor and wrestling fan Freddie Prince Jr., called WWE's decision a fumble. Others, like WWE commentator Booker T, said Mandy, quote, put herself in a situation. But since leaving WWE, Mandy has leveraged that fan site to make more than a million dollars in one month. Wow. So for 27 days, Mandy has not publicly shared her side of the story. Today, she is breaking her silence exclusively to the TAM fam. Please welcome former WWE wrestler Mandy Sakamano to the TAM fam. Okay, you walked out like a winner. <laughs> you walked out. How do you feel? Thank you. Well, that I have a lot of experience with. Yeah, yeah, you do. Um, yeah, it's been honestly really crazy the last few months, obviously, with everything going on. But um, yeah, you know, I'm just so incredibly grateful and blessed for everything that has happened to me. That's so interesting because oftentimes it takes something very difficult, like losing a job losing a loved one, as you did in October with your brother. So many things to position us to fight back. So let's, let's get to what's happening here. You were released from the WWE December 14th. Your old show, NXT, is on tonight. And you were supposed to defend your title tonight? Is that accurate? Yes, and you know, in sports entertainment, um, anything can happen, anything can change. Um, so it was planned, but however, it can always change, uh, you know, within. Within but you seconds. were looking forward to being in the ring tonight. That was Correct. part of the yes. plan. Yes, yeah. You know, I had plans. To be, obviously, I was a champion for 413 days, as you just said. And, um, you know, when I first got that call to go to NXT, um, which is technically our developmental brand, I didn't look at it as a demotion. I looked at it as an opportunity. So take me back here, because you climbed the ranks. I mean, that's why fans love your character and love you. You really started as a foot soldier and built this brand, if you will, that became so popular. Going to the day that you were told, because the, the matches are planned. You kind of go in and you, do you see the schedule and they tell you who's going to lose and win? How does that work? Yeah, it's just, like I said, it's sports entertainment. So, you know, some stuff is scripted, but however, um, you know, we put our bodies on the line. Yeah, there's a lot of spontaneity and the yeah, real physicality. I went to Tampa and saw some of the training years yeah. ago when the, Dwayne The Rock Johnson was just ascending to his greatness. Right. So I saw the physicality and a lot of you leave with injuries Oh, that yeah. prevent you from ever doing the sport again. So it right. is real business. But you yeah. have a, a, a script, if you will, because it's entertainment. In the script, your reign as champion was to end. Did you know why? No, I didn't know why. Um, you know, like I said, I was just told that I was going to be losing the title. And, um, you know, we were going off the momentum of a pay-per-view event, and this is how it works. And yeah. like I said, anything can happen. So. Was I shocked? Um, yeah, of course I was shocked. But there was some inclination of um, just kind of how it went down, how everything was, go was you know, when, what was going on. When were you first told that this might be linked to the content that you posted on a fan site? Um, 
I was never told that. You were never told No, that. no. And, you know, regardless of, um, you know, what happens, it's, there, there's obviously some confidentiality um, when it comes down to it too. But no, I was never told that. Um, I just, as the professional woman that I am, um, when I'm told that we're gonna be losing the title, that's that's what I'm gonna do and I'm gonna get to work, so. So you just thought, I, okay, this was the, the process. You know, yeah. it's time for change. You're 400 plus days as champion. Yeah, it's just time for change. When did you first hear, wait a minute, Mandy, this is about what you posted on this fan page, which some of the, the images, your fiance, Sabby uh, Piscatelli is in the audience. He's a former wrestler. Some of the uh, content uh, included you all, um, you know, being a couple. <laughs> <laughs> and then there was a skinny dipping video on your on the subscription site um, <laughs> that was deemed as sexy, racy, or whatever, but it was provocative. Right. And, um, you know, everything that I do in the privacy of my own home, showing my fans behind the scenes action of whether it's photo shoots, um, just my everyday personal life. You know, nothing's wrong with that. And that's what I was doing. So um, so you were just giving fans a glimpse at um, you and Sabby being a couple. <laughs> it's daytime. <laughs> <laughs> You're being a hot couple. And uh, you were in the shower. You just saw this as non-racy content, but just a glimpse in your life. Well, also, you know, you can't believe everything we see on the internet. Not everything is accurate. So, um, however, you know, when I just show photos of me sexy, like how I've been showing on my Instagram page, which everyone can see, um, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. In bikinis, a little bit more. That's as you and Sabi get. So, yeah. d I guess what I'm asking, there are reports that the WWE reportedly warned you to take down what was on that subscription site. Is that true? Um, well, unfortunately, like I said, I, there is confidentiality, okay. and I can't really um, address that. But um, there, there really was was there was there was one warning just to take it down, and I complied. One warning, and that was it. Yeah, it's interesting because another female wrestler, uh, Medusa, aka Alondra Blaze, yes. uh, said that on Wrestling Perspective podcast that the guys get warnings in the business and implied that there is a double standard when it comes to female wrestlers. Another fan site pointed out that when you took home the NXT UK Women's Championship, you posted, let's show this picture that you posted of yourself with uh, your belts, and your belts covering some strategic places, <laughs> but that's a hot picture. Um, that picture was then reposted by the WWE. Right. There are reports that the WWE says it's a family-friendly uh, environment, but I'll put it up one more time. They reposted that picture of you wearing just the belts. Is that hypocrisy on their part? So the audience clearly thinks so. <laughs> so I don't have any control on how they um, they run their business and what they think is, is right or wrong. You know, that's their but what opinion. do you think? I mean, they retweeted that picture of you on your fan page. The images you posted, to be clear, there was some full nudity. No, there was not. No. Because I have not gone on because it's there a subscription. Was no, yeah, no, there was no full nudity. <laughs> well, I got gotcha. you. <laughs> no, there was no full nudity. Um, I would never post anything that would harness my brand. So you had no or... full nudity? No. Okay. No. The picture that implied. you posted on your Instagram page with the belts, that was implied nudity. Beautiful right. shot. Thank you. They reposted. The WWE reposted that. I guess I'm trying to understand here. Do you believe that you were targeted by them and why? You know, I don't, I don't really know if I, I don't think I was targeted. I think it was just more, you know, everyone has their own opinion. I don't, I don't see anything wrong with that photo as they didn't either, right? Um, and everyone has their own opinion of what they think is, is appropriate what is and what not. Is, what, because you're the person here who fans believe were wronged. I mean, I'm telling you, I, on social media, people have been tweeting. I'm not kidding. There are, you know, people outside waiting for you. You've been quiet for 27 days. We're on live TV. This is your chance. Were you wronged by WWE here? Because of everything that's happened since then, I honestly, everything happens for a reason. Yeah. And I, I can't even say I was wrong because I am so forever grateful for everything that the, the WWE has presented me with. Um, so I can't sit here and say that I was wronged or not because 
the overwhelmingly Are you hurt by it? I'm hurt 100%. That's yes, I'm, I'm, hurt. You hurt I'm, by I'm it? very hurt. Nobody no one no one wants to get that call that you're being fired from any job, right? Yeah. So I was very hurt. I was very disappointed. I was disappointed so much more because of everything that I put into the business, but just the last year and a half, I was champion for 413 days. I unified those two titles that we just saw. I was the third longest reigning NXT Women's Champion. I also created this um, must-see faction with two other women that I really brought up. Um, and I got to see so many women develop their characters and they're all like a lot you know, younger than me and really in the beginning, beginning of their careers. And to me, that was so important because it was so rewarding for me. Yeah. And so losing the title was obviously a gut punch. You know, it, it, it was definitely, I was so disappointed. But at the end of the day, my purpose was what was like gone. And I felt, that's where I kind of felt lost. And I felt confused yeah. because of all the hard work that I put into. And, you know, driving home from that, I just, a lot of things were going through my mind. Um, you know, you always think there's a lot of unanswered questions and all that. But at the end of the day, like I said, I love what I've, what I have, what I've done in the WWE. And I love that, the platform, what it presented me with. So I am forever grateful for them. I love that. Yeah. Regardless. Yeah. I should point out, we reached out to the WWE for comment on Mandy's release, but have not heard back at this time.